what money is what is the meaning of money as you know that the word money is used in everyday conversation it can mean many things but to economists it has a very specific meaning now the question is what do we mean by money from the perspective of economics what economists say about the concept of money so very simply economists define money as anything that is generally accepted in payments for goods or services are in a repayment of debts suppose when you go to a market and you are interested to buy something for example uh, you are interested to buy uh, the economics uh, book the question is how you can buy that book you need to pay something so the amount which you are paying to buy economics book is known as money or similarly if you are interested to avail a service for example you are interested to avail a service uh, from a beauty parlor so you need to pay something or similarly if you are taking loan from someone suppose from your friend or from your neighbor then how you will repay you need to repay the amount and that amount uh, amount is known as money so very simply anything that is generally accepted as payment for goods or services are in the payment of debts debts means loans you are taking loan from someone else and then you will repay the loanable amount how you will pay you will pay only if you have money so very simply money is considered as anything that is generally accepted in payment for goods or services or in the payment of debts so if you think in this direction so you can conclude that currency which consists of dollar bills and coins clearly fits this definition it, it is one type of money when you observe people and if they are talking about money it means that they are talking about currency or in other words we can say that they are talking about paper money they are actually talking about coins suppose if someone comes up to you and says your money or your life you should quickly hand over all of your currency rather than ask what exactly do you mean by money you will hand over all of your currency all of your paper money to that particular person but you will not ask that what exactly do you mean by money you will hand over all of your currency all of your accumulated money to that particular person but keep in mind that to define money merely as currency is much too narrow for economists okay currency is a part of money currency is actually money but this is a very narrow definition because you know that checks are also accepted as payments for purchases checking account deposits are considered money as well we need to define money in a broader sense so the word money is frequently used synonymously with wealth for example when people say or when your colleagues say their salon is rich he has an awful lot of money so what does it mean they probably mean that salon has not only a lot of currency and a high balance in her checking account but has also stocks bonds four cars houses and a yacht because you know that currency is too narrow a definition of money that's why we need to define money in a broader sense so economists make distinction between money in the form of currency demand deposits and other items that are used to make purchases and wealth what do we mean by wealth actually wealth is the total collection of pieces of property that serve to store value wealth includes not only money but also other assets for example stocks bonds land 
फर्नीचर कार्स हाउसेस एंड सो ऑन ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन वेल्थ समटाइम्स पीपल आल्सो यूज द वर्ड मनी टू डिस्क्राइब व्हाट इकोनॉमिस्ट कॉल इनकम फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई सेड दैट शीला वुड बी अ वंडरफुल कार शी हैज अ गुड जॉब एंड अर्न्स अ लॉट ऑफ मनी व्हाट डज इट मीन actually you know that income is a flow of earnings per unit of time so we can say that money is a stock it means that it is a certain amount at a given point in time suppose if someone tells you that he has an income of 1000 dollars so you cannot tell whether he earned a lot or a little without knowing whether this 1000 dollar is earned per year per month or even per day but suppose if someone tells you that she has 1000 dollars in her pocket you know exactly how much this is so basically this, this is the difference between wealth income and money